What did you think of the movie, Dad? I enjoyed it. Me too. Yeah, I think it was really good. Yeah, not a bad Batman, yeah? Yeah, pretty good Batman. Yeah. Probably one of the better Batmans I've seen, for sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Morning. Another day, another real world test. Today we're doing it on the Apple iPhone SE 2022, or the latest kind of budget friendly iPhone from Apple. But today is kind of a rainy, gray, lazy day here in Brooklyn. So we'll probably just bounce around my hood a little bit. But of course, to get started, first things first. Great cold day, like I said. The Apple Store has heat lamps outside, unlike the sidewalk. It's nice of them to heat everybody who's walking by. It's not what it's for. It was there used to be lines of the store because you were only allowed like two people in at a time, so they put these for their customers. But now, now it's just for anybody walking by, and I appreciate it. Coffee, check. And this is a coffee shop called Black Brick that's very close to my apartment that was started in about 2011. Now, I've been here maybe a handful of times before the pandemic. The pandemic, however, got me to come here a lot more often. And a big part of that is because at a certain point in the pandemic, we were not allowed to sit inside anywhere um, because the virus spread a lot faster inside. And this place I ended up at because it has a very unique backyard that was nice to come sit and work in. It's just full of all these antiques and like mix matched doors and windows and it's just you can tell the owner of this place actually like particularly sought out these items and there's like a cohesive theme to the place. But I don't know, I like it, it's different and the baristas are friendly and they make great coffee. And speaking of my coffee, something that's kind of almost the size of the coffee cup, let's talk about the Apple iPhone SE 3rd gen. Now it is small but it's not mini. The iPhone 13 mini is definitely smaller than the iPhone SE. But despite the two of them being the smallest new iPhones that you can buy, the comparison kind of stops there. They are very different devices. The SE, which I can only guess stands for like special edition, maybe, is kind of a new throwback device in a lot of ways. The screen is the older 16 by 9 aspect ratio, the old school bezels on the top and bottom are there, and that also means that we have a home button with Touch ID, which I feel like people are slowly kind of getting over having lost and don't care as much. And I will say there is something convenient even to me about using the Touch ID, especially in a world where masks are still a thing. Now we also have our smooth glass back, as well as a single camera on the back. In fact, in almost every way, besides a few different things, like a faster processor, a slightly bigger battery, the fact that you can buy it new, the specs are almost identical to the iPhone 8. And also the last iPhone SE. In fact, over the last iPhone SE, there's really only a couple of changes. Might have to try that soon. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you? Good, how's it going? Good, hungry. Same. <laughs> So this is a place that my dad wanted to go to with me after he discovered it with my aunt when she was in town a few months ago. Apparently, the people behind it opened a pho shop in this space in October of 2019, which of course, a few months later, meant that they had to shut down because of the pandemic. Fast forward to February of last year, and they've changed the concept to a Vietnamese-style Cajun seafood restaurant called Tiger Prawn. And of course, there are plenty of dishes with the namesake shellfish in it, but also a ton of other dishes taking Vietnamese and Thai influence, like Oysters not served with horseradish and cocktail sauce, but served Thai style with chili sauce and fried shallots. So the only real differences between this iPhone SE and the one from 2020 is a small bump in battery, which is always welcomed, and the fact that it now has 5G. It feels like the latter of which is really the only reason this phone exists. Now, a friend of mine, Sasha Segan of PC Mag, hypothesizes that carriers probably pleaded with Apple to launch an SE with 5G. And now that 5G chipsets have come down in cost, Apple obliged. And I have to agree. With 5G now being much further along than in 2020 in a lot of the world, carriers need people to move to the newer networks to get them off the soon to be defunct 3G networks here in the US and even to relieve congestion on the current 4G networks everywhere. Having an iPhone that's $429 and has 5G would help some users who are on a budget and want an iPhone to finally move to the newer gen network sooner.
And this is Williamsburg Cinema, which is kind of like the first run theater that's in my neighborhood, which means that they show more popular movies during their first run or when they are first released. It's been here for about a decade now and it's not big, but it's kind of our modern theater here. And you have your standard concessions and stadium seating. Today, dad and I are here to see the Batman. Kind of excited about, heard good things. All right, while we're here though, let's talk briefly about the camera. It's fine, but for the price, there are other Android options that have much better cameras and more cameras as well. But of course, they aren't iPhones. My biggest gripe though about it is the lack of night mode. Because of this and the older sensor, low light photos just suffer. The bigger gripe here is that it has the latest chipset and software on it, so it definitely could do night mode. Apple just didn't want to put in the phone for whatever reason. I will say though, that in good light, the video camera is as it is with most iPhones, Pretty good. We can shoot up to 1080p on the front camera and 4K 60 on the rear. And it just looks better than normal when you take into account the price. I liked it. Uh, I think we're all a little nervous about Robert Pattinson being Batman, but I think he did a good job. It was, uh, it was more like comic book Batman. He was a detective in this, like he solved things. I like that. It was, it was a good movie. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Calling it a night. It is. 11.36 p.m. and we are at 12%. And here's my screen on time and my battery usage for anyone who's curious about that. Again, as always, today is a real world test. And so I use the camera a lot. It is not a normal day. And so here's another day that I took my battery usage and screen on time and all that fun stuff for you to compare that to. Now, honestly, for the price, you can find plenty of Android options that would have better battery life, screens, and cameras. But as I said before, they are an iPhones. And if you prefer iOS, then there really is no other option. The only other thing I would look at besides finding a used iPhone, which of course you can do, is maybe the iPhone 11, since it is for now still being sold by Apple and is only $70 more. Now there's no 5G, but if you don't care as much as the carriers do, then that's probably fine. And let me know in general what you guys think. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Always appreciate it. I'll leave a link below to the best price and deal that I could find on this phone as usual. But as always, thanks for watching. Such loud birds. <laughs> they don't sound like this anywhere else. It's this backyard only. Of course. Someone is very angry.